Hi, this is Mark Dill from Mid-Ohio Racecourse in Lexington, Ohio for Racer.com. We have with us the winner of the Indy Legends Pro-Am last week with Robbie Unser, Andre Allure. Andre, welcome to Mid-Ohio. Hi, glad to be back. So Andre, we were talking earlier, you have quite the career and people probably don't always recognize this. You've won classes at the Daytona 24 Hours. You've competed at Le Mans. How long have you been racing? I started quite late in 1992. Uh, somebody at Mercedes-Benz on a security driving practice course, um, you know, caught uh, me driving and then promoted me to Porsche. And that's how the whole thing started, basically um, by coincidence. Yeah, it was a very good, very impressive career. So people might want to Google Andre. Andre, I understand you got along very well with Robbie Unser. You guys have similar driving styles and you set like the same car set up. Uh, talk a little bit about Robbie and the experience you had with him. So we met uh, first time in Indy. Um, Tony brought us together, Tony Perella from SVRA. And he said, I think you have the perfect guy to match your driving style. And uh, so he knew what he was doing. And I'm very happy I met Robbie. Uh, we have very similar ways of uh, driving the car and setting it up. For me, first time in Indy, and for him, first time in a Cobra, I think we had an outstanding result in this. And uh, due to a mishap in the uh, first qualifying, we couldn't qualify uh, uh, the second day. And basically, we lost the uh, entire day fixing the suspension on the car, which was bent uh, due to a hit the curb. And so Robbie just had like four laps in the car before we actually entered the race. and. Uh, I handed over the car after 25 minutes and did a magnificent job positioning the car. I started eighth, you know, handed over the car, I think third or fourth, and then he managed to do the rest. So it was brilliant. Very good. Yeah, it was a little plug for Speedway Motors too. Robbie works there and they helped you work with the car. Um, so now it sounds like you guys are going to get together. You really hit it off and you have some projects, maybe a Pikes Peak Hill climb? That was an idea. I mean, Robbie was holding the, uh, the speed record for open wheel cars uh, for over 20 years going up to Pikes Peak and I always admired these guys driving this car on the edge up the hill. So something that I always wanted to do. And Robbie looked at me and said, hey, you're nuts like me, let's do it. So I said, you know, might as well just race a Cobra up uh, to Pikes Peak, probably the next year. That's a problem. So folks, uh, Andre is entered in three races and the first one is with the Shelby American Auto Club tomorrow on Friday. He was just out on the track at his first practice session. How's the car feel? Uh, a little bit uh, tricky. It's a short wheelbase car, so it's very, very sensitive on the gas. And uh, the track is still partly a bit wet, so uh, have to be careful. Just learning the track, you know, getting used to it on an old set of tires, the one that I uh, brought from Indy, and tomorrow new tires, and then we can push for a time. Well, Andre, we wish you the best of luck. You could have two really super big weekends in a row, so all the best, Andre. This is Mark Dill for Racer.com. Thanks very much.